Hi, I'm Carol at Mainly Pilates. A lot of us are now having to work from home and make do with what we've got. The dining room table, the dining room chairs, if you're lucky. Some people are on a kitchen table with a stool. But this is, we have to work with what we've got. And if you look, while I'm trying to type, I can't help but have my wrist resting on the table, which is really bad, and you're stopping blood supply and everything. So I will lift myself up a bit with a cushion. I'll also tip my laptop a little bit, tip the, tap, tip the keyboard, um, that helps as well. So if you notice now my forearms are almost parallel, I could actually do with perhaps one more cushion, da, 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 but that is a much better position. Now we have to look at our posture. If you see, I'm quite good at holding a straight back with my shoulders down, but a lot of people adopt this position where you tip the pelvis back, and because you tip the pelvis back, you're now bringing the shoulders forward. So you're closing all this chest off and this is what is causing you your lower back pain. So you really need to, right, tip the pelvis up so you're sitting upright, get the shoulders down and back. So that means I need to bring my chair in a little bit so I can reach. And that is far better. That is your posture that you hopefully will try and adopt. And this, I'm afraid, will take some getting used to. You can push your back your bottom as far back as you can into the chair to help because that will just highlight when you're touching the back of the chair it'll highlight when you're slouching but um, if you can sit upright keep your core engaged it's a lot to think about isn't it when you've got all this to do and the kids to watch so the other thing I just want to run by are some are some exercises you can do because nobody's expecting you to sit like this for eight hours you're used to your nice ergonomical chair in your office so there are some exercises that I would like you to do all the time. First of all, drop your chin to your chest and you'll realise that you get a nice stretch in the back. Now take your chin to the ceiling. Do that a couple of times. I want to point out that when my head is in a proper alignment, it weighs 10 to 12 pounds. As soon as I tip to 45 degrees, I'm now putting almost 50 pounds of weight of extra pressure on my neck. But the worst is, once I get to 60 degrees, where I see lots of people working on their phones, like here, we're now talking about 60 pounds of extra pressure on your neck. And that is 4.3 stone in weight. Can you imagine 4.3 stone in weight? Uh, or 27 kilograms. That's a lot, isn't it? If I asked you to put 27 kilograms here, so you've got to get your neck up. So that's why it's good to lift your screen. Next thing, let's just circle the shoulders. Both ways. You can do more of these, I'm just whizzing through them. Now shrug your shoulders up as high as you can to your ears and drop them down. Put your hands on the small of your back and push your back forward and your shoulders back. This is the best stretch here for your chest. And now I want you to turn. So I'm going to turn towards you. I'm going to put my hand on my leg, other hand on the chair. Be very gentle with your back. If you've got any back issues, just don't do it. So now what I'm doing is I'm doing a spine twist. I'm trying to now turn my neck. So I've got full spine twist all the way from my seat up through to the top of my head. And relax it back slowly. Always do both sides. Next best one, put your hands on your hips so you can feel. All right, I want you to tip that pelvis back and you slouch forward. And now do the opposite. It's really nice for your back. And you can do that as many times as you want. Next, just move away so you can see. I'm gonna cross this foot ankle over this knee and just ease down on my knee to open up the hips. Feel a nice stretch in the bum. And do the other side. Always do both sides, remember. Now it's circle your ankles. I can do both together, both ways. Now go up onto your tiptoes and lift the toes. Up onto your tiptoes, lift the toes. You can do that as much as you like. And then finally, wrists, let's snake them both ways and 
flick your fingertips away. So follow this video and do this until you can remember it or write it down so you can do these several times a day and honestly it will make you feel so much better. If you've got any questions, give me a call. Bye!